right, let's get it. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy National Women's Day as well to all the awesome women out there making the world go round. We are having a good day. We hope everybody out there is having a good day as well. We're excited to get started on our uh, nice fun piece. We have a nice watercolor piece for today. And um, seeing as it's Wednesday, which makes sense, it's going to be a fun watercolor Wednesday. <laughs> I know, it's too easy. It was too easy. I know, but it just made sense. Two plus two, it's four. <laughs> so we're going to, uh, you know, get it done. I have to turn on my light back here. We got one light off here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just a hot second. Oh gosh, it's gone. Bing bong. All right, yeah. We're excited too, because we're using new brushes today, which is gonna be fun. Using these Etcher Labs brushes. Shout out Etcher Labs. We're excited, they feel real nice. They feel real nice. We have uh, our assorted brushes, like always, using our Kuratakis. Um, we have new watercolor as well that we're going to be trying. We're not going to be trying it, like, starting it yet. Because it's actually a, a limited palette that we're going to be using. So we're going to be using it for a couple different things. Maybe just, like, portraits and travel. So we'll be getting some of that content out soon as well. Um, but today, we're jumping right into our watercolor Wednesday. Get it. Somebody's breaking in upstairs with keys. Right. So we're going to line this out, but we almost don't think we're going to, which is surprising. Um, what we think we're going to do, we're saying that as we're saying that we're thinking the opposite. No, we're not going to. Not gonna. We're just gonna jump right in with watercolor today. We're gonna give. We're gonna see what happens. Why not? Right. What's the worst that could happen? No, seriously. I mean, nothing. For absolute worst case, that the painting takes like you know hour longer than expected she isn't really that bad have fun with it um we are going to be trying a wet on wet technique still um again it's going to be a loose style a loose wet on wet technique we're going to try to tighten it up obviously throughout her face just a little bit um there's a lot of drawing features that i kind of think are going to show through but i don't want to put pen down because i also am going to lose a lot of these edges as well so that's kind of where my head's at. If anything, we can change and outline and um, strengthen at the end. But we have a pretty good pencil drawing down that I don't think we'll lose too much of. Um, especially because, as I say, I'm going to work wet and wet, so we'll be working somewhat quick. I have to see how these feel. Only use these one other time. thing that i keep seeing it makes a lot of sense i do it with charcoal um if you've seen me draw with charcoal i make marks off to the side to just kind of confirm and check the shape of the mark and the brush um watercolor i'm seeing it a lot of the time again you see there an you know, old piece of watercolor paper just so you can kind of check your watercolor values or um tones off the palette i like i'm gonna throw that down here artwork everywhere it's not a bad thing oh, um, all right so we're gonna put blues down first be far more um green red but we're gonna push purple and uh, blues together. 
0 for 1. I dipped right into my gosh, obviously, by accident. I'm trying also new two cups of water here. I'm supposed to keep one clean and one dirty, but they're already both dirty. Work. See, we're wetting certain parts of the paper. We might not wet the whole thing. Uh, we can tell you that we're doing it. No. The composition only, but that's not right now. Yeah, but we are designing it right now for sure. I'm not going to go into the face on that side. I'm going to work into the face on this side. Um, the reason for that, obviously, light to dark. I want to keep that side light for now. Very, very perfect. Like perfect light. And I'll put a wash in after after real quick, but um. Now I'm going to go in with a purple that I don't want on that right side. <laughs> I guess. Like so there. Purple. Right, let's see what we can do. Gonna kind of change from a blue. Gonna kind of make it like a nice crystal blue as well, I think. Um, to like a purple. I want to play with. Color wise. Pigment right. Here they call it. Turquoise. Feel turquoise. One of those colors that doesn't quite feel like. Kind of makes me like it. But it feels like a cerulean almost. Kind of turquoisey, but. Right? Where is it? I don't know. Why not, you know? Painting our rules. No, I was just kind of making a little design aspects here. Like I say most streams, I don't really ever know what I'm doing. Just having fun. A lot of the marks I always, I usually end up making are kind of design oriented. Like I've talked quite a bit about of, um, in the piece more interesting. Because again, it is just a, an interpretation of the image. 
kind of like, I don't know, anything more is just starts getting... Take a picture if I wanted it to be hyper realistic, right? That's what a photo that's quite literally what a photo is, actually. <laughs> and what people work on cameras to do is to take better and better, more hyper realistic photos. So, you know, it's in it's impressive, but it's not necessarily my goal when I'm painting. To exactly emulate a photo. I'll make it interesting and have fun. Looks like we always talk about checking if I'm muted now. I had like that one stream last week. I was muted for like 80% of it. Like, what the heck? I haven't done that in a long time. Concerned that I was muted, I'm sorry. Oh, that we're just having fun making Mark. Reinterpreting pieces. Especially when we're working, um, like we've talked about. So I'm not get, letting you know if you're good at muted. No, that's okay. It was when you were home. <laughs> you weren't here. I've been really good about it, knock on wood. But definitely, I mean, again, it just comes with time. And I had the realization that that's why I guess a lot of people like podcasters will run their mics back into their headset, which always sounded like just a, just a nightmare to me, but it makes sense if you can hear yourself, guess what? You're not muted. So it does make sense. But I just have a hard time listening to myself back, like, in my ears. So it's very distracting to what I'm going to say next. <laughs> I'm talking to myself all the time, too. I don't totally know what that says. And we're going to add... Now we have to get... That drop works. Stay with us. You like steak at some point this eve? Yes. But uh like nine o'clock when I hop off it, that's okay. I won't need a I won't need a lot, just a little bit. Small little plate, please. I'll be off around nine o'clock because the Celtics are starting at 7.30. Not on TV though, which sucks. That's how they get you at the end. They put their games on NBA League Pass only. The game tonight is... Is it Minnesota Pelicans? That's crazy. That's you eating steak. You're so weird. So I'm actually going to dry this and then go in with another wet wash here. No. I lie. I lie like rug. I hated that thing. I used to hate that goddamn thing. I used to argue with one of my teachers. I'd be like, that's not a thing. It's either bad English or a bad stupid statement. Pick your choice. Right? Like, that's not... It's just never... How would people say? (laughs) 
<laughs> I'm gonna keep using it. You've never said it, have you? You've no I've never heard you say it once. I feel like Deb probably said it. I feel like it's an, it's like a not quite our generational thing. I feel like my mom probably said it quite a bit. <laughs> Absolutely, my mom says it. Oh yeah, no, I mean, I guess that makes sense. But Dev does inevitably at some point you do. I've known that. I kind of want to keep it like almost like a like a warm purple like a maroonish purple not that value oh did i just mixed oh boy that's why maybe not maybe not hmm. <sighs> like spooky or like maybe a horse I think this is what they call a wet on wet technique. Be making that up. Definitely close. I guess it is. I guess that happens when I have more water than. That doesn't seem possible to have thick this thick. But, uh, what are you gonna do? Big whoop, wanna fight about it? That's a family guy thing. Like I said, I don't know why I just say random quotes times. No, it's not good content. It makes sense in my brain. Spooky, but I guess she's kind of spooky. Going much warmer than I really would on the hands here, but kind of. This feels like I should be doing it that warm, so I might as well try it, right? It was like bright red here. some highlights hey. 
think I'll get those highlights today. Only because I think it'll just keep filling in. But um, what will happen is it'll slowly make a difference. And it'll definitely stay lighter than uh, the surrounding. A lot of this will tend to work itself out as well but like we've talked about this is kind of just how i see how i see my work how i like see through my shape my shapes and my process it's like a jump shot we talked about there's not really a i mean there's a efficiency but there's not really like a right or a wrong kind of like Getting it to look like you want it to look like. The hard part. If you have a, if you have a two handed jump shot and it's going in, why change it? If you're missing all your shots and you want somebody to help you, that's different. <laughs> I don't know, sports analogies make sense. here you know we do like to end up with that pick Ow. i think that's maybe like the little bit of from oil painting because i definitely am i like have painted a paper towel right and i'm not sure if again watercolor what the rules are like I say, if I make a piece that I like, <laughs> and you should too, it's about enjoying the process. That's what art is. That's when art becomes art. Let go. Thing that's too dark is that one spot otherwise we're perfect here definitely soften that up continue to design the piece pull certain parts out that too dark spot what are you making fun of me already I know you're not I know it's brutal right only piece that went down yes. always it always got to be one guy in class you know always got to be one mark on the painting and see i'm the sucker that starts looking at this and saying oh i don't want to do anything to it but kind of add a couple more marks it's almost like a early sketch. I love those stages of artwork so much. I always have. Like when when 
Richard Schmidt or some of these painters that I've studied have like their outline or like this drawing, some of the drawings I've been posting. I just love that like unfinished quality style, but it being clearly, you know, perpetually finished. Oh, I know you were making fun of it. <laughs> Looks like an upside down heart. You're really cute. It totally does. That's so funny, actually. You're, that's like really funny. It totally is. <laughs> oh man. You. That's actually really funny. Yeah, because then the other part is I'm not worried about not adding white. I don't. I am not a watercolor purist. Where I'm going to work in any manner of like trying kind of not to add. Like leaving all my whites and being not like adding white spots. I love that stage of adding in whites and your highlights and. Certain areas, yes. Clearly, I'll leave certain marks. I'm just saying I'm not, like, you know, against. Don't no be shocked. dries a bit but you can see it's still bleeding out quite a bit which is kind of nice we're not really changing the color we're still just putting in a nice wash here for i don't think it's going to um lighten up too much but again we're very much going for darker Purples are going to be far darker shades for sure. I'm going to tint it all very uh, purple and blue. I think? I don't know. I'm kind of just talking through my thoughts. I reserve the right to change any of them at any point whatsoever. Just to clear that up. gonna happen here just going for it but this is very much um how i kind of am continuing to explore with watercolor here like that pancake art where you put it on the batter and then you just see what happens <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
same content. I always, um, uh, whatever. I always talk about using a limited palette, but personally, man, when you can dip into your palette and you have the exact color you need, you get like a little bit. Really nice. That said, I did talk about using a limited palette and I should have been doing more, so it's all relevant. It's just definitely nice having, you know, extra colors. We've talked about they're just kind of like the midway point. So sometimes instead of mixing an orange, you have an orange. You definitely want to work up to it, though. You don't want to get overwhelmed with colors. I don't really know. Um, because colors are value. You have to know value. For your color. And then you can do something. You know your values. You should just start jumping into color. <laughs> you can learn color theory pretty easy. Color harmony. And then it's just genuinely. Um, values. That's, it. That's when uh, any color works. Your values are correct. That's how artists do a lot of cool stuff with many colors. An abstract artist. Um, I don't know if that's a thing so is it? I guess. I don't know. But they're even more aware of values. That's how they can show depth without an image. Depth in space. I sometimes have been trying to actually physically break. Oh, we use the brush, carve out a shape. Then I've found that it's not. I don't know. You can kind of control it a little bit more. Similar to oil painting, right? Depending on how you put the brush stroke down, is a very big part of how it goes down, how it looks once it's down. I should. brushes and do that again with the oil painting as well which is um, we talked about that too where I sometimes like the challenge of making the small marks look like a bigger mark then a few examples with like hash marks or cross hatching where you can kind of turn instead of this you can put them closer and it'll be like a block shape almost. I'll show you on that. I've made a clip. It exists. It's out there. Blue. My boy, blue. Ramang. Doing, brother. Rough car day, huh? <laughs>
I made it. And you always be showing. I miss his one. And I'll remember it forever. Both on the same side? No shit. That sucks. That's a bad hit. That is just a bad hit right there. I have a fucking, I have a, we have a huge, I have to replace like the whole back end of our car from parking garage, asshole. Big sad. Left the car, then we went to Florida and came back, and I just didn't, I don't know how I didn't notice that. Left without noticing, and there was just a huge dent in the car. I was like, oh, look at that. That's not mine. Such a... People are so mean. Did you, was it like, did something happen? How did the tire, tires happen? Did you run over something? Oh, that would suck. So we should we should change. That's not even. I hope you can get it fixed. Let's put it that way. Otherwise, let's move over. Let's let's move past it. Let's move over it as she says over a speed bump. Oh shit! That sucks, dude. Well, I hope you guys can get them fixed relatively easily and affordably, at least. Everybody's healthy, everybody's happy, so there's a dub, right? Bang. Well, I hope your wife's healthy at least, right? Let's put it that way. Hope she's okay, and if that's the case, could have been worse. Yes, sir. All hell. Hey, there you go. Healthy and happy. That's we both know that's a dub right there. Could have went over the thing and hurt your back. You know what I mean? It fucks up your back. You wipe this or that. You never know. So, is it a bitch to deal with? Hell yeah. But you're healthy. So. We like to hear that. Focus on the positive. Even though it sucks about the car. <laughs> really sucks. Bubbles tight and strong as always. That's it, brother. Loving it. So what? You must be 100% with Hogwarts now. Gotta be.
take all this far more blue. That's why it's going down very light form and, and magenta. Because I'm going to come in with quite a bit of work almost wet into wet again. Not even a blue, like a purple. I want this purple value to be the dark value that I need to do here. We'll see. more than a design component showing some of these values we're going to keep showing some of the light shift here <laughs> very loose alright she's actually a little too big to game on oh shit that's so funny <laughs> I've had that too. That's really funny. Oh, because you would put your PC. Oh, that's that's actually smart. That's right. That's why you would use a controller with it. That makes all coming together. Here, at least like a like an art, a Harry Potter or something is a little easier to play on a big screen TV than like you know Call of Duty. Call of Duty's on those screens will make you sick. You're just like actually moving your head like, holy shit! Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense, right? It's like perfect for like a slow, like relaxed game like that. But anything faster is like, uh oh, I'm getting incredibly dizzy watching all of this. happening here what is that? like somebody drinking like out of a straw or something. oh latte your name for a song
I like that. I think it's break time. That's a good one. I like it. I, I like it. I like it. I did take a break, but I do like it. Wow. Looking good as F, my dude. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's fun, right? She's a fun one. I'm having fun with this clearly looser style that I hope people can notice and enjoy. Definitely is. Definitely, again, enjoying the process like we talked about. We're going to continue bringing that down. Fred's work. We'll definitely work in through the eyes with, I think, yeah, far darker values. Sure. Take a Dabsky break, come back. He knows. He knows. He's on to the secrets of the art game. You guys, he knows the art secrets. I have a talk with my artist friends. Take him out. Nobody can know our secrets. <laughs> oh no, that's scary. But it is true. Alright, there it is. Those are some good marks right there. We like that. Cool. I'm, I'm gonna bring this right through the hand here too. soften that edge before I come back and it's crazy don't want that hard of an edge anywhere in the face real quick like I said the color at this point really doesn't matter values color matters to like what i want it to look like that's about it everything else is value based perfect all right five minute break please be sure to smash that like and that subscribe and that bell comment below do all the fun stuff if you have not tell somebody about the channel because why not spread in the fun But we're gonna take a five minute break. We'll be right back. Appreciate that love for your support. Again, smash that like, do it.
I get it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Let's go there. See, like, ah, tough. You reach these points where. That's like a fun thing to talk about because we have mentioned it before. And I guess what kind of is the difference is I really like this stage, but I start thinking about if I can make it better. And when I say better, I mean for me to like it. And there's still things I can tweak about it. So while I really like this stage, if you're honest, it's like, no, you know what? Tweak it. And then sometimes you reach a point where you're sitting here going, oh, I wouldn't do a thing. <laughs> and you're done. So kind of a big part. Um, all right, let me think here. I have to. Get a nice purple here. Not muted. Good to go. Check, check, double check, triple check. Let's see what uh, we can mess up more here. Kind of a fun challenge at this point. It's a little... I don't know. So now I'm at, I don't know if it's too wet where I dry it right now, but it's working. So, it ain't broke. I'm not going to be the one to fix it. Talk about, we don't, we have to continue to just work sort of works for our for tough to say because i always try to say like you have to have like a good enough blueprint for your vision and your brain and your idea that's just like such a tough thing to explain but everybody's gonna have different levels of understanding and seeing shape and it's kind of important to learn just how you see so that you can just kind of start working in a way that you know is you versus the quote unquote how to how to this how to that because it's going to change it just will especially when you start talking color that's why i say the biggest thing you can do is learn values um because colors are subjective colors literally change depending on who's looking at it it's just a fact so as you start learning values, then when you get into color, you can learn how you see color, and uh, it's just a much easier road. But there's gonna be people that need every line marked in. There's gonna be people that need just an eye, and it's not ever gonna be the same. It's a little relevant to knowledge and skill level, but it's also not because there are some of the greatest artists that will ever live that st still need a, a full sketch or an outline or a drawing. That doesn't really mean too much of like, well, they're unable to do this or that. All different, there's different blueprints. Kind of makes sense, I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. That's definitely why I make a lot of the marks I make, um, because that's just how my brain has learned to see shapes. So I'm kind of just learning to use the medium to have to create the medium to do what I want it to do, not learn how to make shapes with this. Medium. I just need to learn 
what this wacky stuff does. Because if you have your foundation of values, you can do anything. You can use anything. Sculpture is different. You can draw and paint. Print made. All values. A lot of times when I start saying value so many times, I just like hear myself say, and I'm like, well, I'm just going to lean in and say it another 30 times now. True story. I definitely work darker quote unquote that I'm watercolor obviously. As long as the art police don't find out I should be okay. Very real thing. Art police and if you're doing stuff incorrectly the art police will come for you. Softening out some of those edges. Like working on this like damp paper and kind of having the freedom to go back into it here and there. I have to get working. It's interesting to be working on watercolor now because um I studied under Zorn and Sargent so much. And they would do oil painting and then move to watercolor. And it never really made sense to me. And it still doesn't like as far as their painting like because they, they're incredible but a lot of the marks and stuff they're making i'm like interesting you can start to see it when you delve into that medium and they say um i think it was under zorn maybe it was sergeant maybe they both did they used to just literally dip their painting into a tub of water and soak it until it was just dripping wet they would slap a like a soaking wet piece of paper down and that's how they would quickly and then quickly go to watercolor which is just i don't know it's awesome but you see how if you start soaking the paper and you can work on it with it a little wet longer you just have that freedom to it it's it's pretty fun because then they must have worked fairly opaque as well it's really fascinating to start uh, delving down. My own little random rant. Now a lot of this is just kind of slightly change the color. I don't think a lot of this is going to show up as bright as uh, it's going down, but we'll see. A lot of this is kind of where I pick some of this up. Like I said, I don't think that's the right way to do it, but I love the kind of transparent tones you can get. Always kind of going through and checking my shapes and things. See, now the same concept because we're kind of working into this wet round place. Soften some of these edges.
have to get in. Not gonna be over here. Uh, where's my Okay, we need to get that value active part now. So now maybe we blow dry it and hop back in here, but And we have to see how some of it's come, but on this nice soft paper. Big part to using um, nice paper. Uh, there's a lot of good brands out there, a lot of good companies. The biggest thing is you want is um, 140 pound paper, 300 gear. The biggest thing. And 100% cotton. That also. The whole background is purple, so I just, and I'm not going to make it all purple. So a big part of me really thinks that obviously clearly have an overwhelming sense of purple. If you can't tell, if you have, if you can't tell that, I don't. But that's the reasoning is, uh, behind my brain, at least. Feels like it's gonna nice sort of balance. Is that from the uh color? I just keep putting paints down, whatever. eyes unfortunately correct and super pronounced kind of like a, a win lose because they don't really want it seen that much because of where it is value wise but it's accurate oh, it's right here.
keep leaning to the side like I say so I can see uh, without the glare of the wada. Talk about it's a lot of design reinterpretation we have I mean again there's an image of this you know I mean we don't have to copy it no we don't Want to have fun with the reinterpretation of the imagination? If anything, make it better is not the word. Different. out some of that not be the value okay going down really really nice it's like a really nice again when the paper is damp like this you can still kind of work on it like it's a wet on wet but you do have more control and um to be able to push and see my value Filling in big shapes, though. And sometimes the shapes just get smaller. Sometimes they get more specific. And kind of slightly change. I mean, it's not really... No tricks. Wish there was. Sweet. Definitely, I always end up going back in with gouache. I just love that. Why not? Okay, I'm not entering this in a watercolor competition. Watercolor only.
Even if I was, <laughs> I'd do it anyway. No, I, I, I don't think that's a thing. go ahead and say we were kind of wrong about that piece early on being too dark perfect trust the process like we talked about what people say about this this is I mean, just has such a gorgeous glow pick up pigment like this such a nice glow i'm sure there's ways to do it when on on the first wash I think part of what makes it look so nice is just that it was painted, colored, and then it's like almost being picked up and it's the remainder of these pigments. And it feels very similar to like an oil color like we've talked. Oil color, an oil painting. have to put in dark values here though liking it I have to add those dark eyes to uh, pull in Adam here. Yeah, it kind of looks like a spooky goth chick. Kind of what she is, though. <laughs> razor blades in like charcoal drawing sometimes uh you can like actually scrape away the like the top layer of the paper and you get a nice white super clean crisp like edge highlight yeah i haven't tried it i feel like if i scrape something off here like... oh maybe the spot did get too dark like we were afraid of that
for like the blue on the other side. Kind of purple. Eh, it's definitely a purple interface. First color we put down. But I'm definitely going in um, fairly opaque. There we go. So now the blue will be picked up, but it'll it'll uh, you'll see the purple. Okay. I hope. But I like the blue rather than the highlight um blending in with the background. Because I think it shifts, it shows that it's a colored light versus um, just an edge, an edge highlight. And again, this is always something that like we talk about. There's no right or wrong or rules here. If you like a part of this that you put down, try getting to fix it. Or learn from it again, whatever you want to do. But don't be upset and say, oh, well, I can't go in with colored pencils. I can't <laughs> go with gouache. You can go with There's a lot you can use. Joy, like we say, joy that process. Cool. Um, what double talk? I'm gonna go in a nice purple wash here. Nice little bit of our purple, our nice dark purple. I'm sure I'm going to guess that it'll be too dark, which is okay. Part of the learning curve.
10 we're pushing our uh darks with this purple here design choice was made because we don't want to go through and fill out the whole background and it's a purple background so it uh again our reinterpretation this is not our image just reinterpreting enjoying the process hating So we're making design choices along the way, right? Messing up the drawing along the way too. There we go. Love to see that. I can't see it. See that. Kind of an interesting choice actually that we would choose to do all of our darks in purple but i i really i don't know i'm liking the feel of the piece just lends itself to that because we've actually talked about making our darks very warm that's something you just you genuinely want to do um but it's kind of fun changing it up trying something new you know Kind of when I have to start drying the paper, I think. Now I have to see what I have to kind of finish with opaque marks. Um, because she even has some uh, freckles that I'm going to try to get in the thing. Okay, 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 okay. Liking it, liking it, liking it. Try it off. Right off quick. I'm gonna uh, run the blow the blow dryer real quick. I'm gonna leave. Uh, we'll be here, but you know, blow dryer running.
Oh yeah. All right, let's keep with it. Marks, two more marks. Now the color choices are tricky because we have our color palette down. So now value and color um, matter from a, a standpoint of that I'm choosing for them to matter because I, I do want them to look a certain way. You know? these, are the, these are the marks and stages that we talked about that there is not a trick to it other than um, the marks, the shapes get smaller and a little bit and more specific. Or dialed in. And I'm putting paint down relatively dry and opaque now. So not really a wet into wet at this point. Kind of trying to finish my marks here, finish it up. Um, but I'm, I, I'm very much choosing which shapes I want to finish with. Again, don't want to just keep making every mark and shape. So now again, you're very design oriented like we talked about. And um, we're finishing the piece with, you know, shapes that are going to tell the right story. show the right shape show it. i mean i don't know that's just how i always think of finishing a piece right again it's certainly not about getting okay so i have to finish it cool time to get the every single eyelash in that's not finishing a piece fin finishing a piece is getting it to where you love it don't know how you would make it any better And that's very much how we focus on uh, this stage. So the shapes get smaller and more like detailed, but again, they don't, not like, okay, cool. Time to finish and get every single thing. Very much about fixing edges perfecting all your values so if there's any values that are not quite right dark enough highlights aren't quite right I think I'm gonna put some more paint down there, but I don't have a problem with that with that part in the uh, light there. I like it.
little bit of value over here. I'm not going to Because I kind of like a lot of these here, actually. Um, I don't like this white. Bothersome. There now, whatever. Oh, excuse me. Again, very much finishing up the marks I'm seeing. Um, but I'm being selective about those ones. There are shapes that I'm seeing that I may be combining into other shapes. For the most part, I'm just looking to uh, pull the collar and the head forward out a little more. Not even forward, just kind of keep your focus up uh, here this starts to get a little detail and instead of having these values not popping up uh what we're going for. nope stop stop what you're doing computer stop Is what I'm saying, I guess. Kind of want to keep the white uh, collar. Out like a blue bow here. Fun, pretty fun indeed, people. We did.
darker value here. Uh, tap that dark value in. More fun. Sorry, I think my hair is probably in that shot. Kind of leaning over. You feel it. All right, let's. Um, uh, shit. Yes. I don't want to do too much to the hands because I don't want too much focus to be in there. I, um, everything to pull back up to the face off. And two. Let's look at anything. Our eye, our eye moves towards hard edges and strong contrasts of value. So this starts doing all sorts of lines. Just gonna that's where our eyes almost want to start off. Don't don't want that. Sometimes white gouache works, and other times it just kind of looks like a, a different texture. It's not the end of the world, you just have to add a little bit more than you think in other places, so it feels all balanced. But, kind of looks good. Kind of why wouldn't you use? Makes sense to me at least. Never been against white paint. Well, people hate it. I love all the white paint they own. wrong i'm sure i'm gonna continue to try you know white marks but i'm also not gonna say well no i can't finish this game i don't think people say that anyway dream stance to take
it open probably <laughs> whatever I'm gonna put all the skull and crossbones on her shirt. Ow. I feel like everybody should have known I wasn't gonna do that. Sorry. It wouldn't even make it a better, you know what I mean? It wouldn't make it better to be that the last thing I want your eye to look all around and only whites that aren't going to cool down going to be the eye mark classic really Really very opaque paint. That's my favorite part of um, the paint I use also. Hirataki. Um, I guess they're kind of in the middle of a watercolor or gouache type mix. They go on very opaque, I can say. thing I do hear a lot about watercolor is um, the values kind of are not as strong and I, I, I don't I don't like that I, I'm not on board with that I want my dark values to be dark that's just how um, images Shiro, Shiro, that's just how images start to grab people come to life when they have that value So I very much overwork a lot of my dark values, but um, I just think it, it lends itself to the final piece so strong. I have a hard time not doing it. And who knows, a lot of my watercolors might not work because of 
the value that I'm pushing down. See? Now I'm liking it though. And again, we're talking like I'm saying colors and values, and I'm just making sure that the values are where I need them to be. And the colors are a design aspect of it. That I think is why I stress value so much. Is, um, it's just such a big aspect of my art. And it's such a big aspect of how I I've always, I've just worked with charcoal so long. I've always done values, values, values. I was doing it when I didn't know I was doing it. Benefit, lucky, I got lucky, very lucky, but. Um, and then I understood what I was doing with charcoal. So if you've been working with charcoal, again, there's a chance you didn't really click into that fact yet, but doing yourself a huge service by working in charcoal. You're just learning values. Graphite's great too. The only thing that's tough about graphite is sometimes it's tough to actually get those dark values. With like just pencil. thick the paint is this is dry paint this is all dry um so I'm, I'm going in very very opaque so this is the paint there's a this is a very 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 i'm wetting the paint and really digging the paintbrush in i'm always fascinated by how artists are um working their palette i figured i'd show that real quick just because that's a big thing um, I think that over not overlooked, but again, along with values, um, like I talk with oil paint too, you have to get paint on the paper and you paint there before anything can really come together. I promise. She has another layer of value. So when you have your darkest dark, if you go in, and I've actually found this to be here with uh, watercolor as well. But a trick with oil painting, I can confirm. And is what I'm doing now. So be able to confirm this as well, because it kind of looks like it is working. But when you have your darkest dark, if you mix up ultramarine deep, and a lizard in crimson or some sort of just very dark crimson. It's like a darker than black dark. It's like your perfect sort of, you don't want to use it all over. You want to just like put it in the center of a dark back. Nice little tip. Shay, what up brother? Wednesday looking kind of fun. <laughs> How you doing, man? Coming together nicely. She's coming together nicely. I haven't watched the show yet. I was saying I have to. I was checking out some scenes from it. It looks like it's probably pretty fun and entertaining.
People seem to be loving it, I guess. Right? So that doesn't really ever mean anything, actually. Sometimes that's the worst sign for a show, I guess. My dude, doing good. Got some super sick, super sick art lately. Thanks, man. Really trying to, um, I don't know, enjoy the process and push, you know, do something new, do something different. And just really open up those studio doors and seeing what we make, you know, seeing what we come out with. Can't say I'm complaining. But yeah, we've definitely had some fun stuff. that big dog yeah, we've been really focused on again the design aspect of our pieces lately I think um, design but just a little different I guess we've been trying to push, like, you know, our style a little bit more, like an impressionistic realism, where it is clearly representational, but we keep trying to get looser and looser, more and more loose. Who knows what the term is, really? Oh yeah, it's looking like Wednesday now. Though. That's her. Uh, we got, we got ourselves a Wednesday. No doubt about that. That's kind of a big goal, you know? Because then you can just kind of have fun. The goose is loose. <laughs> Chad be having those. Chad be having those lunch beers again. Those lunch beers on a Wednesday. Loving it. You know it, home beers today though. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. It's Friday. I'm gonna do a drink and draw at night, so be around. Trying to have some beers and do a little sketching. Loving it. Loving it. I've been doing high noons. I've been digging high noons. Tasty stuff, man.
Hell yes. when you do like your own artwork when you get like really fun and i say that because i don't like everything i do you know what i mean like that's not it's not like you reach a point where you just start liking all of your artwork <laughs> that would be awesome but it's really fun when you start liking certain pieces it's like yes i knew the gray i was on those for a minute but i switched to Cut water. Oh, can't beat the alcohol content of cut water. You had mentioned those. Do they do like different drinks? I don't remember. I feel like you said they did, right? So the only cut water I've seen are the Texas thing. Texas water? Is that it? That doesn't sound right. Either way, it was the grossest drink I've ever had in my entire life. Tasted like salt, like dirty salt water. The dirt, Texas, dirty water, dirty Texas water. Something like that. <laughs> I hate everything I make. That means you just have to keep working through it, man. Got to enjoy the process. <laughs> I hate everything I make. <laughs> they got a ton i stay oh they the margaritas and palomas oh well yeah that sounds really fun i think you're right dirty texas water set yeah it's something like that right and it's just i think it's like seltzer vodka and like salt or something it's gnarly. I, I dude, was not in it. I was like, oh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Actually, I remember the first time. I think it was like a new bartender. He was like, I just I just learned this drink. And I was like, oh, yeah, cool. I love it. And Ariel and I had it. And we were like, oh, my God, this is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and he actually made it. So it wasn't even a cut water thing. Or maybe he put cut water in it or something. I don't totally remember, but then I know I saw a cut water of that flavor and I was like, oh, well, that's a no. <laughs> like, but if they do margaritas, that's that could be dangerous. What is a cut water? Is it of like a vodka drink or is it actually like whatever the like our margaritas tequila? Is it that? Is it like that? Or is it like a high, where high noons are like, I think, vodka, right? I could be wrong about everything I'm saying. I think that's right. Though. Had cut water. I feel like we have actually. Kind of just a white that I'm putting in roughly and seeing if it'll pick up any uh almost like highlights like shines or shimmers. Be lucky.
Works for me. I think that's where we have to call it. Right on time. White highlight on these hands. I don't think we can. But I'm wondering if I can put in like oh, that might show up too much. Be like a white, or is that gonna soften out for me here? Might have went overboard. <laughs> Payday! All hands on deck. Oh, is what you've done? They do need her hands to look like they're attached to her body, right? Do they need to be her hand? Sons of the Forest is pretty good. Yeah, scary. That can make sense. Solo that game probably has a lot of spooky jump scares. <laughs> that makes sense. I've got that arcage. I just need to be unemployed. <laughs> True, dude. You are not bullshitting there. I've been playing Apex. Surprisingly, it's very fun, actually. And it's just what's fun about it is it's just like a team deathmatch is actually pretty good. So I can just like kind of log in and play and like no commitment and it's not Call of Duty so it's not bullshit broken. Call of Duty's bad. I haven't even played Call of Duty lately. But all I see is all these the complaints on it. I'm like no shot we're back to that stage of Call of Duty. It seems wildly upsetting right now. The shotguns like the meta. Oh. But yeah, Apex has actually been very fun. I haven't even I haven't even played the Battle Royale once. Wild. But I used to say that about Apex. I used to say they needed a team deathmatch because the only way to enjoy the game was to play Battle Royale. So you could never really get used to it or enjoy it. You would drop in, you would loot, you would maybe win a fight, you would die, that'd be it. It's like, okay, I'm done. The Deathmatch is, is fun because it's a fun game. It always was. So you can actually drop in and play and just respawn. Is actually very cool, surprisingly. That's gonna pop in. Talk to your art. You can talk to your art. It's just like golfers talk to their golf balls, you know? Basketball players talk to the ball. You can talk to your art. It's fine. I won't think you're a weirdo. Other people might, but I won't think you know that. Makes sense to me.
But gardeners talk to the plants. Exactly. What I'm saying. Worst case scenario, it talks back and you probably just sit out sit like you know the next few plays out. <laughs> I don't have advice for that, Sage. You've taken too much of something. Try to enjoy and call it a day. Looking at it out on, on my monitor here so I can see it straight on. That's kind of when I stare this way. Like the splash on the top left makes a good background. The head is great. Yeah, the top part came out nice. This part right here. And then this little bleed out is just perfect for this side for me for enough. Yeah, that part's really nice. And then I don't mind that because again, it's enough where all of this makes sense. And all it does is kind of pull you back up to here. So it's okay. Cause if this is all rendered completely, it would start to take your focus. But because this is clearly the focal point and has all, I mean, you just hit a lot of nice highlights and edges there that when you get down here, it, it's enough. And then you kind of drift back up. works and there's a lot of different shapes and marks which is, uh, make it would keep it fun and interesting for me at least like I say, I say things, I don't say, I, I don't mean to say them matter of factly. I'm just very much talking like through my thoughts. <laughs> so they're kind of a factual statement for my brain. Just for, you know, all the people out there watching that don't know me. All right, we have to sign this bad boy here. Yeah, I have no, uh, I got nothing I would change here at this point. Now it's just. Now, literally all I'm doing is checking a couple of my darkest values and making sure that they're um, going to stay very close to what they should because it's still watercolor. This is sometimes the stage where I'm like, Ooh, maybe I go back, not go back, but this is sometimes where I miss oil painting because when you put a paint down with oil painting, it's just going to stay watercolor you keep building and it it'll desaturate it just will as it dries which is the beauty of it but also the interesting part I really start liking a piece i want to just make the perfect marks but that's why watercolor is perfect too because uh you can't you have to stay very loose and open happy accent as our friend Owen Wilson is going to teach us. So weird. I want to sign it. Uh, art color. I just dug my paintbrush so far into the fish. And I don't know. Yeah, 
and I talked about that a little bit. Use the paint. Use the paint. Probably won't run out of paint. Don't use it and just like not. Don't like put it out in your palette and not use it. But don't be skin in the game. So similar to our charcoal, sometimes when we brush, um, you, you want to work that signature into the piece sometimes. It really sort of just changes uh, how like, the, you because you want it to be part of the piece. You don't want it to sit on top of the piece. You can see the difference in just a couple of the changes there. Just the change of just the um, signature. Uh, it's just not sitting on top now it's in the piece it works with it, it feels right Ow, she turned out dope thanks baby yeah she's a keeper that's the keeper oh yeah that's the keeper with the skin box oh yeah yeah it's a fun one that's a fun one. Like in this, uh, again, watercolor, I think, like I was just talking about when I was saying, like, I sometimes miss the oil paint of it, like, not being exactly what I want. That's what also allows me to have, like, been a little bit freer with these pieces and kind of just accept the experiment a little bit more. Because watercolor, you can only fight it so much. Which is fun. I think out of that, I'm getting a lot of uh, fun marks. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm really enjoying the process, of it, which is just fun. It's really all I can ever ask for. It works. Bing bong. Yeah. Yeah, 
everything I do now at this point, I'm done. Everything I do now is gonna 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 take it the other way until I do a bunch of work, if that makes sense. So we've reached the peak of my choice where I'm like, yes, style where I was going for goal marks flow composition is there. If I start resolving more and more and more, then I have to start going through the whole thing. Otherwise it'll start taking away from other aspects until you build up all the way around. Like we talked about where you're kind of working in like a circle around the whole piece. The balance of the piece right now is it. That's what you're going. For. That's what I was going for. That's what I'm going. For. The only thing I might do, which I'm not going to do until tomorrow, because now I've also you have to give your brain a chance to reset and see it because when you're working on it you don't see it how you should you never will the only thing i might do is come in and kind of resolve this hand 10 percent more but that's not something i'm going to do now because i don't i'm not i'm not positive on it if that makes sense i don't know a lot it came out really really nice and fun same same but different to our other piece which is cool we're just capturing the light capturing the shapes um i mean again i think people will know that that's wednesday adam i don't think that be up for debate if they don't know who wednesday adams is they won't know who she is but if they know again like we talked about they know wednesday adams they'll probably know that thing gonna highlight two more things here on the white uh the the white brush pen that i've used a bit here Take through work some of it out So similar to um, how we worked the signature, we um, kind of put that paint down and where we didn't want that edge, we just worked right back into, um, into it with a water brush.
just kind of knocking it back just a little. So it'll still keep that nice white, but see some some of this in here. Softening the edges. But you see the difference of the white? That just pulls right out. Highlights here. Not gonna though. I have to I have to sleep on it for the night here. I'm thinking I'm thinking it's good. Again, as I as I keep looking at it, I can see more and more and more and more. You can, you can always you can literally always keep making marks on a painting. I could go in and make marks that you can't see and and keep improving and that. But this is it, that's where it's at. We love the final the final stage, the final process. There it is. That's where we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you, Etcher Labs. The brushes. We like the brushes. Etcher Labs brushes. That's our watercolor Wednesday piece. Thank you for the love, gang. I appreciate everybody for chatting, for chilling, for hanging, for painting if you were drawing, whatever you were doing. Appreciate you guys being out there. Please hit that like, hit that sub, hit that bell so you don't miss any of the content that we have coming. We have more work, more digital, more oil painting, charcoal, graphite, watercolor, wash. We're doing it all and we're having fun doing it. So be sure you don't miss a minute. And uh, until next time, you know, I'm going to say it. It's our sign off, so we're going to keep saying it. Know it. Shaz, beautiful piece, my dude. I appreciate you, brother. Have a great night. I'll talk to you in the Discord for shout. Everybody out there, Chaz bought the red, the blue. And everybody else, until next time, stay healthy and stay happy. Much love, gang.